step up in the spot Dudes mugging, hating bad, could it be my style? Or just my pretty boy swag can tell by my gear, I do nothing but pop tags You need a receipt, cause your girl just got back The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is Should Anthony Joshua train with Rodney Shields? It's no secret, Joshua has been seen with Eddie Reynoso And now he's been seen working a patch with Rodney Shields Rumor has it that he's looking for a new trainer. And so uh, we're asking, should Ithi Joshua train with Rodney Shields? Here's some footage of him uh, with Rodney Shields. Thank you, man. Say something. Let's hold on. In the last two, we will be a gym full of champions. Look, uh -oh. of bosses. You know what I'm saying? Look. <laughs> Hold up. Is that the cornball? Oh, we, uh, we lost G. Damn. We son. lost G. <laughs> Jeez. What were you about to say? How's that? <laughs> uh, yeah. How's that? Is that the cornball? I saw the uh, the orange top. Yeah, I don't know which one. Who, who was it? Which 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 Charlo was that? Yeah, I don't know. But both Charlos were there, bro. Hey, so we had the cornball in the building, but you know, I still love you, Charlo. I, love, I still love the Charlos, you know. Yeah, the views and opinions of Ned the TBE do not reflect the boxing bros and all the other faces you see on this screen. No. All right, so you saw Anthony Joshua training with Rodney Shields. Kuspira G, uh, do you think he should train with Rodney Shields or should he hire him? Yes. And the reason why is because my only issue with AJ is sometimes I feel like he's hesitant when it comes to going for the kill. And I think being with a guy like Rodney Shields and just being um, even around the Charlo brothers, I think maybe that mentality will rub off on Joshua. And so I think uh, we'll see a more lethal Joshua under Rodney Shields, you know? Um, and so I, I think it'll be, I think AJ should, uh, you know, work with him, you know, because, no disrespect to AJ's trainer now, but it's just, I don't know. I just see too many fights where I'm seeing AJ just not going for the kill. He he seems like he doesn't have that passion anymore. So maybe coming to the States will give him that hunger and, and you know, that drive. Kind of like Rocky Three. you know what I mean? Sometimes you got you to gotta go to the streets, man, to get that motivation. You feel me? So, <laughs> you know, Ronnie Ronnie could provide that. You know what I mean? Like, Maybe he could be like, yo. Yeah, he he needs he needs the Charlos. That's what that, <laughs> he, he needs. To call, he needs to go to the Charlos. Huh? Hey, hey, maybe. You know what I mean? But like, you know, Ronnie could. Yo, when I work with Mike Tyson, you know, we used to do this at a third. Maybe just those lessons could could motivate, could educate, and, and transform Joshua. So you know, Ryan Shields, man, he's been he's he's been in the game for a long time, man, and you know he produces champions. So I think AJ could learn a lot um, being in that camp. All right, Trill Dollar Bill. I don't know. Uh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> whatever the chair wanted to. <laughs> um, I just, I, I just think that you know he's going around, you know, sharpening some tools, you know, getting some work in with some some different people. Should he train with them? Um, yeah, he should work with him. He should work with everybody. I think he should. I mean, he was down with the Renosos. I think he should try to go in there and work, see what he can learn. This is what boxing is, you know. Everybody done learn from somebody and multiple people. You know, you see so many people, you see like the young fighters nowadays, like you'll see one fighter in, in somebody else's camp, like the young kid that I, I like I'm high on right now from Puerto Rico. What's his name for last night? Xander Zayas. Woo! Xander Zayas. That kid is amazing. But like him, you see him at different people. You see him at the Sean Porter's gym. You'll see him in there with Adrian Broner. You'll see him in there with different people getting that work in. It's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with uh, Anthony Joshua going out there and getting that work in and, and getting some more information from these other uh, great trainers who've been doing it 
for a while now. I don't see nothing wrong with that. TV. You see how I, re- I avoided the first question, right? Yeah, I was just, <laughs> well, being the head trainer for Joshua. <laughs> You see how I was watching it? Because do a child's like, I'm going to get the answer. You know what I mean? So, what's your thoughts on that? There, I, it's cool, right? But my thing is timing. Time. Time. You know? Like time, like what is he trying to do? Like if it's enough time, I think Ronnie Shields, why, why, why not? You know what I'm saying? Is there, you know what I'm saying? I can, I can see it, but I just don't. I don't know. I, I just don't. I don't see jump ship yet. I just don't. I just don't see the jump ship yet. You know, they said that the last time with the young man with the the loss. You know. And he went back with his team and they got with some other people and they went back to the drawing board and they got it right. Let's just see if they can do it again. Before, you know, they talk about, you know, jumping ship. But I have no problems with them going out there and getting some work. But just right now, I I just, because I don't, like, I don't want him to get with somebody and then got to learn a whole, try to, you know what I'm saying? Try to imitate or try to be like, you, you get I don't know. There's not enough time, you know, especially if he's going right into this fight with Usyk. Nah, I think it's this thing. I just want to see him ride it out with his people real quick, you know? Right, so in that case, what do you say to the people who would say he added new people to his camp before the second fight with Ruiz and he was able to implement a new game plan and he was able to learn new strategies and be successful in that fight with uh, the, within the span of around six months? But he was still stayed with the crew. You know what I'm talking about? He still had his head trainer. That's what Rob I was saying. McCracken. He stayed with Rob McCracken. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm 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 with that. I'm with that. I'm gonna stay with 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 Kraken, but get some other people around you. Get some other people around you. And I like I don't have no problem with you going to go hang out with Ronnie Shields. Maybe he can you know teach you some things. You know, like you go into the the Mayweather gym. Maybe you can. Look, Teach you some things. Go see Freddie. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's now I haven't seen nothing wrong with that. But I just don't want it to see him jump ship yet because that man's been good to you. Y'all lost one and y'all got that right back. You know, so that's how I feel. Not, not, not yet. Ned the TBE. Hey man, I think I just made sure I was muted, but I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think AJ should train with whoever gives him that umph because AJ is missing that umph. And you know, he has the skills and tools that he has the IQ, he has everything he needs to do to what he do. And Ronnie, Ronnie, if you could bring him that, that'd be amazing. That would be the, like what he needs in his tool set, what he needs. That's that's just the environment he needs to be in, is where somebody teaches him where he has to let his hands go. Or when when to let his hands go, not just let him go, just because we see we see um we, we talked about in Jimmy the other day yesterday, Chizora lets his hands go, but he doesn't know when not to let his hands go. He just AJ just needs that type of training. Want to know like yo, you have food on your plate, take him out. AJ needs to be bred into a killer, not a murderer. You know, but let's make that clear. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. So <laughs> that's not poetry. That's real life. Real life. Real life. Real life. Real life. Real life. So for me, nah, I, I, that. I wanted that I wanted to boy. quote Top Boy. Like 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 in Top Boy, when I watched Top Boy, and you know you had the you had to see the two sides beefing and at the end as end of the season, spoiler, spoiler, hey, spoiler. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, don't even do it. Don't even do it. <laughs> All right, I'm not even gonna go there, but yo, come on, bro. Come Don't on, try bro. To spoil bro. Top boy for bro. The homies, bro. You're, you're waste man. You're a waste man. You've you know? been a waste man. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I just feel AJ just needs somebody to teach him that killer instinct to let him know when he's not, he's in the trench, 
but now he's in the trenches, you know, and he got to go for the kill. He got to really get dirty. He got to get his hands grimy, and he got to know when he's like, business is business. But that's it. All right, all right. Ned, no spoiler alert, but have you seen all the seasons of Top Boy? I thought there was one. I thought there was a, there was an off off. There's a, like the oldest older season. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I tried to watch it. I didn't. I, I couldn't get through it. But the first season, Top Boy, I, I love it. That's not the first. How can you say that it was the older season that you? That's like get it's like and then it was watch another season and say that it's no. It's the same plot. It's the same characters. Same everything. <laughs> I'm gonna, you, I'm gonna watch it. I, I, it's, it's just, even in watching the shows, he takes a shortcut, people. Ah, <laughs> 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 like, oh, nah, this season ain't doing it for me. Right, that's it. That, that season picks up, though. I know what you're saying. It does start off really slow, um, yeah. but it does pick up. Um, all right. So for me, here's the thing with Anthony Joshua. And I think in many ways, this is what Troll was saying as well. Um, so I'm just saying it differently. I don't think it matters who his trainer is because the issue was him. Mm-hmm. Now, you can sit around and try to um, put it on other people or say certain things, right? But at the end of the day, you have to have accountability for yourself in your actions. Because every time AJ loses, is he going to try to get a different trainer? Was he questioning Rob McCracken when he beat Pulev? He looked real good being Pulev. You see, you have to look at where you lost, AJ. And where you lost was against fighters in similar stature with similar attributes. Hand speed, and they can throw a variety of punches. Now, the difference is Usyk has way better footwork than Andy Ruiz. And that's where... um, he ran into trouble that he couldn't overcome like he did with Andy Ruiz in the second fight. The other issue is Usyk has better stamina than Andy Ruiz. So those are things you have to take into account. But for you to sit around and and think that Rodney Shields is going to have the magic for you, or you think Eddie Renoso is going to have the magic for you, I don't see I don't see it. With Joshua, I think he needs to be different. And by him, I think his mentality, his focus, his mental, the things he does going into the fight, that is what needs to be different. I mean, you can, what are you going to run through every elite trainer in the world? If you keep losing, you have to start looking at yourself. And I think it's a similar style that he's lost to that he needs to look at himself and say, you know, it, it has to be on me. So um, with that being said, um, I, I think AJ has to take a real hard look at himself in the mirror and ask, did he do everything he could do to beat Usyk? Did he take enough risk? Did he fight the fight he was supposed to fight? I mean, it's easy. And, 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 if, and this is why I'll give AJ a pass. If his issue is with the fact that McCracken and the people around him didn't tell him the truth, while he was in the ring, then I can give him a pass on that because I felt like McCracken wasn't speaking to him with the urgency that he needed. I felt like McCracken was saying like, "Brilliant, yeah, Brilliant. Well, I, that was a McCracken." <laughs> but I felt like McCracken wasn't at least like Angelo. Dunn. You're blowing it, son. Mm-hmm. You're blowing it, son. You look at I think of uh, Dan Goosen when he told um, Corrales, like, yo, yeah, you know, right now, yeah, like, you know, and it's let him, like, you think of, even like Teddy, although uh, his methods are weird, Teddy would tell you, like, the real, like, and that's what, that's the type of uh, relationship you're supposed to have with your trainer, and I feel like McCracken didn't necessarily tell um, Joshua what was really happening to him in the Usyk fight, so if he wants to leave McCracken for that reason, I can understand it, but if he's looking at it like tactically, he wasn't prepared. Joshua could throw every punch in the book. Joshua saw it. So um, I don't know. I mean, I don't tell this weird story, but I mean, it's true. I when, when I was younger, I used to be afraid of dogs, like terrified of dogs. And every time I walked by a dog, it was like they were all big. They were all barking. Even the little dog. Everyone, they all, every dog would bark at me and come at me because I was afraid of them. 
And then I got close to a dog, um, which I have a dog now. And like, I started to like meet the dog, play with the dog and understand dogs and meet other dogs. And then I just started walking by dogs and not even noticing it. They never barked at me. They never came at me. They never would, they would all be happy to see me. And then I was like telling the story to someone and, and I was like, isn't that weird? And they were like, no. They were like, the dog, I was like, that dogs like me now. They didn't like me when I was younger, but dogs like me now. Isn't that weird? And they were like, no, it's not the dogs that changed. It was you. See, when you used to walk by the dogs, they can pick up on your energy. They can pick up on how you was. So that's what they were reacting to. But now when you walk by dogs, your energy is different. The way you feel is different. So they sense that. So Joshua, in a way, you have to change in that way. That when you're around these fighters, your energy is different. Your vibe is different. They know that like, yo, this dude, because 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 in many ways, I think they all see you as, you know, the poster boy, but like you don't got the heart. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what they see you as like, yo, he got the muscle. He got the skill. He got the look, but he don't got the heart. Like, what they think he's a 10 man, you know, I mean, that's how they all see you. And that's not going to change because you change trainers. That's only going to change when you change. That's only going to change when your mentality changes. And, and, and you know, I feel like AJ's so afraid of, like, getting knocked out or get, being embarrassed or looking bad in front of everyone. Bro, who cares? Who cares? That is true. Like, go out there and do you. If you go out there, you look at it like this. And people clown Wilder. Wilder got knocked out by Fury, but Wilder also dropped Fury too, and he gave himself a chance. He didn't just try to do things and and and, and whatever. And so, like, you can go out to Usyk, letting them outpoint you, trying to play it safe, or you can go in there and take calculated risks. Now, that's why I say calculated because you're gonna have to fully commit to some punches with the risk of getting hit with something yourself. But I guarantee you, if you land yours hard before he lands his, or even when he lands his, you're going to get the better of him. But that requires hard. And that's what a lot of people are questioning about Anthony Joshua. And, and, and basically, he's going to have to silence that with his performance. And, and, and so I'll close this. People aren't going to treat you different. Things aren't going to be different. You're not going to seem different until you get back into it. So um, that's basically it. But how about, yeah. I just pulled this question up. And I'm not going to say this is similar to Malik Scott effect, but don't you think that uh, trainers could tap into the psyche of the fighter? Because I remember when after AJ lost with uh, Ruiz and AJ got a, um, was it, a Navy SEAL psychologist or something, right? To, to to handle anxiety or something like that. It was something along the lines of that, right? And I like to imagine that worked for him for the rematch, right? And so maybe with McCracken, it's just, you know, maybe like he's just not tapping into that 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 mindset for AJ to be like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna go for it. Maybe now they're looking at AJ like, yo, he's a meal ticket. You know what I mean? Because to me, when I heard that guy saying, whoever it was, kept saying brilliant, knowing that AJ was losing those rounds, that told me these guys are yes men, you know? And so maybe AJ's realizing I don't need yes men around me anymore. I need people to keep it 100 with me. You know, maybe McCracken's no longer keeping it real with AJ because McCracken just wants to stay around for the ride. And so sometimes you just, and I'm not saying to jump ship because I agree with Trill. It would be nice if you could stay with McCracken, but at the very least, you got to bring in new people. You know, because and I get it, it's that's within AJ, but maybe you need somebody else to bring that out of AJ. And so that's why I'm like, hey, maybe maybe Shields could be that person. Just throwing it out there, you know. No, no, if that's the case, like I said, I agree with you then. Because like I'll be real, like if you look at this screen, G and Trill, like those are two people my whole life I could always keep it a buck with. Like, I could always tell them things, like, keep it 100 with them. Even things where most people would be afraid to, like, speak the truth because it may, like, fracture a friendship. I could always say the truth. And 
vice versa. And I think like you need those people because when you don't have those people, what happens is you get a group of people telling you like, oh yeah, what you're doing is fine. And then the end result comes and you realize like, yo, I was doing wrong the whole time. And these people were just telling me what I wanted to hear. Mm-hmm. And sometimes like the toughest thing you can do in a friendship is tell someone something they don't want to hear. Right. But it may be what they need to hear in order to do what they need to do in order to be successful. And I feel like if McCracken was telling AJ in that corner, like he was winning or keep doing what you're doing or you're looking good. And he was lying to AJ. And in which case, if I was him, I would be very upset as well. So I think like um, for me, yes, um, if I'm AJ and mentally in my head, I, I have doubts on whether or not I can trust my team, then I'm moving on. But if it's purely tactical and strategic and strategy and you think that Rodney Shields is going to magically teach you how to fight in a way that's going to be Usyk, then I, I just don't I just don't see that happening. Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe and check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. We are the Boxing Bros. What they seem bleak, walk with me. To navigate these streets, walk with me.